What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's the battle of the burgers. I was asking you guys on my Instagram what your favorite fast food burgers were, and to be honest, I was a little surprised by the responses. For the record, anybody that considers a McDouble a top tier burger is not getting a Christmas card. But the trend I did notice is that a lot of people seem to think In-N-Out makes the best burger on the market. So in today's video, we're gonna take a legendary burger and put an anabolic twist on it. In today's video, we'll be making an anabolic animal style double-double. Everything you love about this legendary burger except will make it fit right into your diet. If you've been spending too much time in in and out to the point where your social media pictures all have the sign in the background and you're starting to realize it's not a good look, then look no further than this video because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. Whether it's burgers, ice cream, brownies, whatever your dessert guilty pleasure is, we can make a better version of it by using the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. All your favorite foods broken down and easy to use guide to fish right in your pocket. You don't gotta eat like a starved rabbit to see results, you just gotta make better choices. Link down below my description to get it once you get every future SBI app for free. All right, baby, if you guys are ready another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Let's get this show started. I'm gonna put a recipe card up on the screen right here so you can see all the ingredients. This type of recipe moves quick. So you wanna make sure you have everything kind of laid out and ready to go. So starting off with the biggest change we can make to bring the calories down and keep that protein high is to use leaner ground beef. I'm using 96.4 lean ground beef. And what we have here is two 112 gram piles since this is a double. Another critical step is making sure our buns are optimal. I'm using a 130 calorie potato roll. Just be mindful, some buns can have double the calories and you don't don't even really notice. We're gonna need two slices of fat-free American cheese. We're gonna need some pickle chips and some fat-free mayo. We're also gonna need some fat-free Thousand Island dressing, some no sugar added sweet relish, and some sugar-free ketchup. We're gonna be using a few of these sauces to create that legendary animal style sauce. And then finally, we're gonna need some diced onions. We're gonna do something really cool with these. And then we're also gonna need some plain yellow mustard because the way they do their in and out animal style burgers is actually a very hidden technique that you're about to see shortly. Let's get this thing moving. Now in order to get beautiful caramelized onions like they do on the animal style burger, we gotta do a little trick here. We toss our diced onions in here on about medium, medium high heat and let them cook for a few minutes. Once that happens, we take a little tiny bit of water and add it in here. Woo! And then once we do that, we mix everything up and then let everything cook for a couple more minutes before we add a little bit more water and rinse repeat. We're gonna do that about two or three times because as you can already see, these onions are getting some awesome color. We just add a little bit more water, mix them up, then we'll just rinse repeat till these are perfect. So we just pulled the onions, side them off to the side. Now we're gonna prep our bun. All I'm gonna do is toss this in the oven at 400 degrees for about two minutes. It's really gonna bring it to life. And after a couple minutes, we pull the bun off and we're gonna sit it down on our skillet and let it toast for a few minutes. And here we go. At this point, the bun is now toasted. It's gonna add a nice little bit of flavor to it, but it's also gonna help our sauce from not making the bread too soggy. It gives us a nice protective layer. So we'll sit this off to the side. And speaking of sauce, we will get to that right now. First thing we're gonna do is add in our fat-free mayo. Weigh out about 16 grams right down in here. Next up, we add about 16 grams of that sugar-free ketchup, 18 grams of our fat-free Thousand Island dressing, and then finally, about 15 grams of our sweet pickle relish. And once we're all in here, we'll just go in and mix everything together till we have our own anabolic animal style sauce. And then once you get it mixed up, you gotta give it a little taste test. Mm -mm. If you've ever had the original, you're not gonna notice the difference with this. On a burger, this is priceless. So at this point, you've learned how to make your own animal style sauce. Now let's move on to the burgers, come on. So what I'm gonna do now is take my two patty balls from earlier and slowly work them into thin patties. Since you weighed them out, they should be very similar in size. And then what I like to do once it's down here is form it with my hand because the thinner and more even this is across the entire patty, the faster and better it's gonna cook. And once the burgers are pattied, we keep it simple with the seasonings. The only thing they're doing it in and out is adding a little bit of salt and pepper to each side of the burger. When you have sauce like we have, there's really no need to overdo it on the burgers. Toss the pepper on there too, give them a quick flip, boom, and then we just do the exact same thing to the other side. And now we fry. We're gonna sit both of our patties right down in here. 
Boom. And then one secret they have at In-N-Out with their animal style burgers is they actually take mustard, put a nice little glob on the top of each one, just like so. Then they go in and spread it out so it coats the top side of the burger. And what that actually is gonna do is when we flip these, it's gonna cook that mustard deep down into the burger and add a lot of flavor. I was a little skeptical at first, but all I had to do was do it once. And after that, I was sold on it. And after these have cooked for a few minutes, it's time to give them a flip. Get underneath and bow. Perfect. Boom. And then the last thing we'll do is place our slice of cheese on top of each patty and let these sit on here and melt while these finish up. And now we build. First thing we do is take our animal style sauce and put a nice helping right here on the bottom bun. The next thing we do is take our pickle chips and lay those down right on top of our sauce. We are basically looking for full coverage. Next, we lay down our first patty, followed up by our second patty. Then we take our beautiful caramelized onions from earlier, spread those out on top. And then finally, we take our top bun coated with the rest of our sauce and place it right here on top. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the animal anabolic animal style double double. Ladies and freaking gentlemen, would you take a look at this beauty? Not only are we cutting way down on the calories, we're adding even more protein, keeping the fat minimal, and we don't even gotta sacrifice on all that lovely sauce. Cooking at home, making foods you love, doesn't have to be a boring, unhealthy process. You can make minor tweaks like I show you in this video, in my cookbook, or in any of my recipes, and you can really, at that point, have your cake and eat it too. It would mean the world to me if at this point in the video, you could hit that thumbs up button and comment anything down below. What type of food do you wanna see me make anabolic? Y'all let me know down below if I choose your submission, I'll give you a shout out in the video. So anyways, guys, we've been staring at this long enough. Before it gets cold, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feedback, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. I am so excited to eat this, but first, quick announce, we still have some of the peanut butter and jelly anabars in stock, but they're going fat. Bonobossfromus.com, use code RGF10, save 10% on the best tasting protein bar on this planet. You're gonna love it, I swear. All right, so I know this is gonna be good, but I never said anything about it not being messy. Pick this thing up. Oh, it's holding together better than I thought. Putting that bun in the oven is the real secret. The actual bun, don't get anybody pregnant. All right, take a look at it. Y'all ready? Three, two, one, let go. Oh my God, this, ladies and gentlemen, is anabolic perfection. I mean, where do I even begin? The sauce, the animal style sauce, is the star of the show. It's just loaded with rich, delicious flavor. You got that pickle crunch when you bite into it. The way we toasted the bun, it's got its own thing going on. You got those caramelized onions. Seriously, uh, this is probably the best burger I've ever made on this channel. Not the cleanest. As you can see, we have a little bit of a problem, but as long as you're either in a healthy relationship with whoever you're eating this around, or it's like date seven, eight, or nine, I think you're gonna be in a good spot. Don't pull these out on date one. You'll be going home in an Uber. And if you don't end up making the sandwich, at least make the animal style sauce I made. And you'll get a rough idea of what makes this thing so good. It's funny how with a couple minor tweaks, you can take a sauce that is literally just fat and turn it into something that's way better for you, but you still get all that flavor. Like I always preach, you just gotta make the better choices, man. Paper towels are a necessity. Now in this entire sandwich, you make it exactly how I did it, which you end up with for the whole thing is only 523 calories, 11 grams of fat, 64 grams of protein, 42 grams of carbs, one gram of and to put that into perspective against like the OG version of this you'd get, right? You'd have 673 calories, so about 150 more, but you're getting 41 grams of fat, 37 grams of protein, 39 grams of carbs. You're getting about half the protein, you're getting about four times the fat, more calories, ain't doing your body any good. But when you make the better choices, not only are you gonna love this, I know you're gonna love it, but you're not gonna feel terrible after you eat it. That's, that's half the fun, man. You wanna eat it and feel good and then not feel miserable after. You ever eat something really bad for you and immediately after you eat it, it feels like your world's falling apart. You failed at everything you've ever done. You forgot to go see Graham in her final moments. It's not good, not good. Ooh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final sloppy last bite. Let's go. Mm. Ladies and gents, this was a phenomenal 10 out of freaking 10. This is the best burger I've ever made on this channel, hands down. You gotta make this, you gotta tag me on Instagram. Let me know, you know if you're watching this and you've been like, hey, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, you've been wanting some content ideas, you could perhaps make this as a video or you could go get the actual original and then make this and eat them side by side and compare them. That, there's a million dollar idea. If you end up doing that, tag me on Instagram in your story, that way I can see it and I'll swing by and check it out. Appreciate you guys as always for checking out the channel. Smash that thumbs up button for me, comment down below what you wanna see me make, subscribe if you are not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. I'd clean up some of that sauce, but uh, I already did and I edited it out. So it is what it is.